Something changed in the installation mechanism for uh, CE731 that now a swap space of at least 8 gigabyte is required. So I'm recording a new video to show all the steps. So in my case, I'm using VMware Fusion. When you do file new, uh, you are ready to dump in here the CentOS minimal install that I downloaded before. Links are in the video description. We click here, uh, continue. Legacy BIOS. You can do customized settings to define where you want to put the image. For me, that's a good place. And then you need to do some uh, configuration in here. The first is I like to give this uh, four cores. I want to give uh, six gigabytes. See, it's one, four, four. And what else? Uh, I, I like to verify that I have my NAT, which is shared with my Mac in the nomenclature of VMware Fusion, my NAB adapter, and the disk space. I like to give these 200 gigabyte just because in VMware Fusion, at least, uh, until you allocate this, the space doesn't get allocated until you need it. So I prefer to have a large disk so I don't run out of space. And that's uh, basically all I need from here. I can just click play here. And I select the I for install. I hit enter. It takes uh, you know a little while until it begins to react. And we are not going to be doing any more installs of uh, any more edit edition of the networking files. We're going to do the whole install uh, through the GUI. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to select the language. In here, you know, English is fine for me. And then uh, you need to check, make sure that your date and time and the, uh, you know, the, the time zone is actually selected uh, correctly. In my case it is, so I'm good with that. Click Done. Uh, in here, this is the place where you, we are going to define the swap of 8 gigabytes. So you need to select this radio button here. I will configure partitioning and click Done. And then in here you need to click in this link. Click here to create them automatically. You select here the swap. And then you need to type here the 8 gigabytes, uh, 8 times 1024 or more if you want to, A192, and then is KIB. I'm going to erase this. And don't ask me why, but the first time that you click here, save, it doesn't take it. As you see, it went to 4096. But you do it the second time around, and it does take it. Eight. 192 modify save and here you have it so you click here done accept changes and now we need to do the networking part first thing that we need to do is enable that NAT adapter ENS33 uh, and we click here configure before we click configure we can define the host name already and we are going to call this one uh, Q radar CE we click here configure we do not want the HCP so we're going to go here on IPv4 settings and instead of the HCP we're going to put manual and then we're going to add the address that we want 172.16.60 static address of course dot 12 is the one I'm giving my net mask I can put 255 255 255 0 or you can put you know 24 
and the gateway in my case is 172.16.60.2 I click add so that's added uh, DNS servers I like quad 9 9.9.9.9 I can put a comma and you can put any other one I'm gonna put 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. Before I click Save here, I want to go into the General tab and make sure that this Automatic Connect to this network when it's available is selected. So we are ready to save and we are done. We are ready to begin the installation. While the installation takes place, we can set the root password. I'm putting a simple one here because this is a demo system for installing CE later. And click done. And I'm going to pause the video until the installation uh, finishes. So, installation finishes. And I click here to reboot. It's, uh, going to actually this shouldn't take too long I don't need to pause the video let's actually wait until it reboots we are gonna log in with the password we uh, simple password we set up and we're gonna test uh, connectivity and we're gonna make sure that we have the swap space of 8 gigabyte which is the new requirement that is if, if you don't have that I, I when I try to run this and I didn't have that, I was getting some microservices strange errors that went away after I put the 8 gigabyte. So if I do free mem, I should see here, you see the 8 gigabytes right there. And if I do the F, no, um, IP address to check the connectivity. We see that we have the that uh, dot 12. Actually, let me zoom in here. We have that dot 12 address. That's the 8 gigabyte, and we can pin the world just to make sure that we have uh, connectivity. We do ping. Make sure that the DNS resolvers are working fine. And they are. So we are ready to receive the installation of Curator CE.